Daniel Isaac or his wife, I don't know which one submitted the question. What happened to CA from the pin post this year and why? This is a fundamental of Shiviti philosophy. Let me answer this question. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, we used to designate foods as A, good for Ashkenazim. A, C, A, meaning good for Ashkenazim but contains citric acid. S, Sephardim. S, K, A, Sephardim and for Ashkenazim who consume limited types of kidney oats. This year I decided to get rid of the ACA uh, for two reasons. One is that I believe that Ashkenazim also know how to read and if they look in the ingredients and it says A but they see citric acid, then they'll know that whether or not they eat citric acid, they, they can read the ingredients themselves. But as I've said in the past, this forum of the Pesach Kashrut forum is intended only for those who consider themselves my Talmidim or part of the Shiviti Bet Midrash or People who don't yet have a rabbi and they need to ask questions to somebody because they simply don't have that relationship with a rabbi. And because of that, our stance has always been, like Chacham Wadi Yosef writes about Chum Limon, about citric acid, that even though it may be made at times from chametz, nonetheless it's been processed to a point where it's no longer a problem of chametz, and you can agree or disagree, but that's our stance. And therefore, we decided this year, instead of bothering everybody with you know, we used to take other people to consideration, but at the end of the day, those who are asking us questions, are they know which halakhot they're signing up for, and because of that, we decided to remove that designation of ACA, uh, because really we don't believe citric acid to be a problem at all, and I felt that it was misleading to keep writing ACA as if there's some kind of problem. Now, what about kidneyot? Okay, kidneyot, I think everyone knows my views on kidneyot. I have a shiur called Kaleidoscopic Kidneyot on YouTube. Kidneyot is too old of a minhad, too emotional of a minhad, too complicated for me to get rid of it for people who don't want to get rid of it. And I feel respect to many, many Chachmei Ashkenaz who are concerned about this. So when I answer questions for their grandchildren or their great grandchildren, I don't mind adding, you know, this would be consumed for Savaladim and Ashkenazim would customarily refrain from this. Do Ashkenazim have to? 